While the front was stabilized in eastern Ukraine and none of the warring sides claim any significant successes, Russian missiles provide Russian forces with some tactical advantage on the front lines in the southern regions of Ukraine. On the evening of September 14th, a missile strike damaged the Karachnovskaya Dam and a pumping station on the Ingletes River, which caused water levels to rise by more than two meters, flooding a number of districts in the city of Kirvoy Rog. On September 15th, hydraulic structures in the region again came under attack. No sooner had the water left the streets of the city as another Russian missile hit another dam in Iskorovka in the Kiravargad region. According to official data, there were no casualties as a result of the flooding. The purpose of the strikes was not to flood the streets of Kervoy Rog, but to raise the water level in the Ingletes River downstream, where the front lines run and the armed forces of Ukraine are trying to build pontoon bridges across the river. On September 16th, the local deputy head of the Civil Military Administration confirmed that the Ukrainian units found themselves in a tactical encirclement near the borders of the Kyrgyzstan region on the left bank of the Ingletes River. As a result of the rising waters, it will be more difficult for the Ukrainian units deployed on the left bank in the area of Davidov Brod to retreat or transfer ammunition. It was also reported that the Ukrainian military camp in Kirvoy Rog was flooded. As a result, sending reinforcements from there to the front lines was interrupted. The Ingolete spill played an important role in the ongoing battles in the southern regions of Ukraine. It delayed the offensive operations of the Ukrainian forces which have been prepared by the Ukrainian military in recent weeks. In the areas of Alexandrovka, Pasad Padrovsky, and Sigrivka, artillery duels continue. Near the village of Andrivka, the Ukrainian offensive has been stopped. Fighters of the Russian aerospace forces do not stop strikes on Ukrainian troops along the corridor from Andrivka to Suhoi Stavak, where Ukrainian units found themselves in a tactical encirclement. Dozens of gravely wounded Ukrainian soldiers are evacuated from the area every day. It is reported that Ukrainian aviation is used in the evacuation operations and that Russian forces do not prevent the removal of bodies. Despite heavy losses, the Ukrainian military continues to transfer reserves to a bridgehead on the left bank of the river, apparently preparing for new offenses. In the Algina area, Ukrainian forces are trying to advance with infantry and tanks, but units of Russian paratroopers with the support of artillery and MLRS continue to repel attacks.